Welcome to an overview of Child Care Resource and Referral's Bomb Threat Information Form. No one expects to receive a bomb threat when they go to work, but unfortunately, it does happen. The Bomb Threat Information Form is important to become familiar with before you receive a threat. Bomb threats can be made via phone, social media, fax, email, mail, or in person. Since it isn't a common occurrence, it can take people by surprise. All staff knowing what type of information to be aware of when receiving the threat is important. Gathering as much information about the exact threat and the person making the threat is crucial to emergency personnel who respond to it. Try to be as detailed as possible when filling out the bomb threat information form. It is important to include time, date, how the threat was received, phone number if applicable, and the amount of time you spent on the phone with the caller. It is important to remember and write down the exact words of the threat. There may be clues to the bomb's location, what type of bomb is being used, or other vital information. This next section of the bomb threat information form only applies if the threat is called in or made in person. It is normal to become scared, and understandably, the person taking the call may not remember what questions to ask without this reference document. Again, it is best to gather as much information as possible. Any information will be helpful to emergency responders. The last section of the bomb threat information form is designed to help you capture other details about the caller. There are options for the person filling out the form to consider to help recall more specific details regarding gender, voice, threat language, and background noise. The person taking a call will be asked these questions several times by different people in emergency services. Capturing as many details as possible on this form will help communicate key information and ensure consistency. This form is available as both a PDF and a Word document. The latter is helpful if you would like to modify the form to capture additional information or ask other questions. If you're looking for instructions on creating your own emergency preparedness plan or filling out other optional forms, check out our main EP training page. Or if you're ready to take a deeper, all-inclusive dive into emergency preparedness, check out CCRNR's Emergency Preparedness for Child Care Programs training. The links are up on your screen now. Thank you.